Hi guys, Julia here from Just One More Card and today I have a really fun video showcasing how I'm coloring with pencils on craft and how I accent, accent the card with Nouveau Glitter Accents. This also marks the Snow Day stamp release by Stacey Yakula on Purple Onion Designs. Um, it's November 1st, 2016, so all the new stamps are available today. Some of these stamps you can see here, all except the fence, are of the new stamp collection. There's even more uh, than these that I'm showing you here. And I'm going to be using Nutmeg today, which is this super gorgeous fall owl. I'm also going to be using dyes by Tonic Studios. Uh, Tonic Studios has sent me a ton of supplies to try out uh, the glitter drops and their stuff, and then a lot of dyes. And these dyes are pretty great because um, all these sizes, they... Uh, Alternatively, you have a scalloped edge that I, you can see here on the pattern paper and a straight edge. So um, the dies always come like alternatively with the scallop and straight edge in one single set, which is amazing for layering. So I'm using those today. I'm also using my Misty with my new setup with the vinyl uh, cling sheet for stamping. Uh, some people have written me a very... Um, emotional comments about my setup. They were very unhappy about this or thought it was, you know, stupid and I don't know, don't even want to repeat what some people wrote. Just want to tell you it's an alternative. It's not the only way to use your unmounted rubber stamps. That's how I like to do it. You're free to do something else. Now, I also have a new uh, pencil sharpener. I will be linking to this in the video description below. And what it does is it gives me a super sharp tip, but a very short tip. Compare this to uh, the other tips here. You can see how much shorter this is. And I like this so much better because I feel when I burnish, that means when I f go in with my very last layer and apply a lot of pressure, um, my tips all, uh, or the leads often break because I apply a lot of pressure. Maybe too much. That's another story. Um, but I felt that if my tips, uh, the pencil tips would be shorter, I would have more control as well. And I really like this new sharpener. It's also very affordable. Um, I actually had to order it from Amazon US because uh, like it sold for 60 or 70 euros here in Germany and then Amazon US. It's an add-on item for like 4 99 So I actually ordered it from the United States and imported it to Germany. Uh, it's it's an incredible tool. Like I really like uh, what it does. It sharpens my um, my polychromos pencils just fine. It sharpens my the luminance pencil. It's a bit of a tight fit with those, um, but uh, even my some of my polychromos that I still have left, it works just fine with them. So I can really recommend that sharpener as an affordable al alternative for those that look for sharp um, tips on their pencils, but but like short tips, not long ones. Okay, I hope that made sense. Now onto the coloring. You can see that I do my normal layering here, uh, come blending in from the darkest color towards the lightest, making sure I leave room for my highlight. And if need be, feel free to rotate your paper. Um, I often don't do it because uh, I don't want to make you guys sick uh, while I'm recording the video, but it is much easier for me sometimes to rotate the paper. That doesn't mean that you don't have coloring skills or that you're a beginner or anything. Um, do whatever makes you feel good when you color. If And if you need to rotate your image, then rotate your image. Sometimes a change of perspective can be really helpful. And you can see here my love fest with my luminance white pencil continues. It's just amazing the kind of highlights you can get. I also want to mention the effect that you get on craft will vary depending Oh yeah, I'm coming back in here now with my uh, biggest pressure and you can see that I'm darkening up the colors. Um, what I wanted to say is that the effect you get on craft of course varies depending on the kind of craft cardstock you are using. Uh, I am linking the kind of craft paper that I'm using in the video description below. I picked it up from a local craft store. Um, is it Doe Crafts, Crafts Mania? You will, you will see it in the, um, in the video description below in the product links, also on my website. Um, I really like this paper. I like uh, like the contrast that you get and I like that is while it's smooth, it still has a little bit of tooth. That means when it, it takes on a few layers of colored pencils. Of course, you need to use a very light hand to start out with and not flatten out the tooth too soon. So, but I really like this craft paper. I also used other craft papers in the past um, that started to tear after the second layer already. Um, so you need to experiment a bit. If you have a craft store nearby where you buy your stuff or where you can get samples, you can maybe ask if you can get um, 
like a scrap piece of paper off some cardstock like my local craft store for example because they cut down some of the paper that they order um, they provided me with some scrap pieces uh, that they had left over so i could try them out before buying an entire paper pack so just see if maybe your local craft store or paper store does that for you as well so you can give this a try before buying an entire stack of paper but I'm really happy with this one. And you can see the magic of that white pencil. Like this is just pencil. Like I didn't use a Sharpie or any fluids or anything to create this white, a uh, super strong white. So I'm, oh, I'm just in love with this pencil. Um, then I'm coloring in the leaves uh, using, first of all, use the same orange colors that I used on the owl as well. Then I'm using some greens and I was really um, fascinated just how much brighter they appeared once I added the brightest green here and then some of the white. It really, like, because right now it looks kind of boring, but the white really makes these leaves pop and gives them color and contrast. After I was done coloring, I am stamping my sentiment. I placed the acetate sheet from my Stampin' Magic on top of my paper here. And then I'm moving um, the, the cardstock around underneath the paper without moving the, um, the acetate. And now I'm adhering, making sure that the cardstock doesn't move. I'm bringing this back down. It's like a Stampin' Magic just a little bit more complicated. I was just too lazy to switch between tools. By now I have foam mounted uh, the, um, the craft panel onto the pattern paper and the pattern paper I adhered with glue to the card base. And now I'm grabbing these Nouveau glitter drops. The exact color name will be listed in the video description below again. And I'm just applying some of these drops to my card base. And I wanted to do this because this is a fall card and I thought it needed some gold colors because you can see the most amazing yellow and gold tones in nature right now. And I'm just so fascinated by that. And I thought the card needed some of that as well. So I'm just adding some of the drops here to complete my wreath. And here you can see how they look once they, once they have dried. I think they look absolutely gorgeous in real life. Just so sparkly and shiny. And here's my little owl. I'm super happy how he turned out. I really like the depth I got on the feathers uh, in his wings and like how his white eyes pop. Super, super cute. So I am. I hope you got inspired. Don't forget the new release by Stacey Yakula is out on Purple Onion Designs today, November 1st, 2016. I have a link to it in the video description below. And here are some more videos for you to check out. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel because I have a ton more videos to come for you. Thank you and catch you again soon. Bye bye.